Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Talk and Tech Unbox. Today we have something exciting to unbox which is a brand new Ubiquiti Access Point Swiss Army Knife Ultra. So let's get started. So this is the box of the Swiss Army Knife Ultra. You can see the branding of the access point name and that access point, I mean the image of that access point, and the branding on this page also. Here you can see all the details, ubiquity, genuine products, genuine ubiquity product and everything. So I have bought this access point from the ubiquity US stores. So it took like almost three to four weeks and there was some custom duty and everything. So they have opened the box and just put the tape here. So you can see here the coupon, you can scan this QR code and you get the installation guide. So let me open the box for the very first time. Under the box, you get some screws. You can see here some screws. Here. This is for level when you mount it on the pole or some leveler, maintain the level. And here are some other screws. Also, so you get some cable ties. So this is a indoor and outdoor access access point. So for outdoor, if you mount it on pole or something, you need a cable tie also and some mounting plate also this is a mounting plate let's get the access point itself okay so this is the tiny ubiquity access point swiss army knife ultra so it is like a outdoor access point the replacement of the uap ac mesh so you can mount the external antennas which is not provided in, inside the box you have to purchase it separately for the external antennas so let's check so this is the access point this is the back side of the access point seeing that the plate you have to mount it and let's open it and see this is where you will mount the external antennas the antenna sections let's keep as it is now here at the bottom you see uh, not sure what it is but there is an option to open this so we'll see it later on so this is a very tiny small ubiquity access point swiss army knife hunter. so now we will just power it on and board it for the very first time and then we can adopt it on the controller so you have to open it from the back here to just remove these two options so you can see here now the rj45 connected one gig is a poe in here you you get the reset i mean the power side or reason not sure basically it is a reset only you can reset the access point from here and here are some so let's power it and adopt it on the controller so let's power it, the access point here and then let's get started so i'm connecting so it's powering now you can see the LED after powering it you can see the LED icon it stays, stays steady white so first we will uh, adopt it on uh, using our unified network app and then we will check back on the controller so as you can see the LED status got changed it's booting now I have connected the UK Ultra access point on the same network it should show up on the controller as pending adoption or setup. You can see the new devices found Swiss Army Knife Ultra. So I will go to the respective side where I want to adopt it and it should show up there as a pending adoptions. So I will hit adopt from here 
and it should go into the adopting state and after some time it will go into the getting ready stage so i have adopted this access point using the unify network app because this access point support bluetooth connection so you can see here it shows a getting ready now you can check the wi-fi experience 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band both the band supports to two into two mimo and there is no wi-fi 6 band so it is getting ready and it will be connected we will check back on the controller desktop screen and see the configurations download and upload speed of this access point so the swiss army knife ultra is adopted you can see uk ultra it's connected and there is a new firmware version showing available you can click to update and so it will be updated to the latest firmware under the overview you can check the Wi-Fi band, Wi-Fi experience. So right now, only channel 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Uh, this access point does not have a Wi-Fi 6. So both access point gets a 2 into 2 MIMO. Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 5. You can check the model name UK Ultra, Mac address device version and the Wi-Fi name is connected to one of my SSID and you can check the ad stats here 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, transmit power get, gets 26 dBm and right now 20 dBm is used similarly for the 5 gigahertz band 26 dBm 20 dBm use and check the parent devices it's connected to the GBE connections and how much power drawn on this access point is 3.73 watt here you can check the channel utilization for the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz and check the memory usage under the UK Ultra knife you can set your radios transmit antenna type you can choose antenna like uh, and unboxing you have seen you can set your antennas like customization here I have set everything on auto right now, auto transmit power, auto channel and the channel within 20 similarly on the 5 gigahertz, channel within 40 and auto. Here you can uh, use the meshing option right now it's set to auto and the band setting is set to off and the LED you can manage LED from here you can turn off and everything is same from on this access point. So right now we'll uh, go ahead and uh, create a new SSID I, am, I want to use this uh, existing SSID I will just uh, use a new SSID and as assign the broadcasting APs Wi-Fi on this access point I will give the name as a new test set the password the network will be the default and under the broadcasting AP I would use only UK Ultra and in the manual i won't change anything i will set everything as a default only and apply the changes so right now after applying the changes the access point is saying getting ready so we'll wait for some time and then connect to the wi-fi under the topology also you can check where is my uk ultra is connected so it is connected now i will go ahead connect to that ssid i will look under the other wi-fi networks and connect to the new ssid connected to that ssid new ssid if i check under the other network it should show up so now we'll go ahead and check the speed of fast.com it is getting 220 mbps so i will go ahead and also you can check the macbook air just connected to the uk ultra so i'm connected to the wi-fi 5 and 2 into 2 mimo you can check here and you can check the signal stand and the ap client signal balance and everything even you can check the latency here how much latency i get minimum average and the maximum is stop the latency here now i will check the speed test on the okla speedtest.net here i will uh, test the download and upload speed so 4 millisecond and it should get up to the same speed which I got on the fast.com so the download space is 219 mbps and the upload is a bit higher 
the upload speed I get is 260 Mbps. So you can check here uh, the latency MIMO configuration RX and DX rate of this uh, MacBook Air. So the UK Ultra is uh, getting quite good speed on the Wi-Fi 5 as my internet connection speed is around 500 Mbps download upload. So I think it should get uh, almost up to that speed. So as you can see, I've adopted and connected uh, the UK Ultra. You can see this uh, UK Ultra is a compact, tiny access point. You can see here, it shows up here. So you have seen that I have adopted this UK Ultra Swift UK Ultra knife successfully on the controller. And as you can see, the LED status right now, it says steady blue. On the back side, I put the cover back again. So this thing, uh, as you can see, this is a rubber type, which is a, like a protection from the outdoor or things like uh, this access point will be mounted outdoor. So uh, like uh, this will protect uh, from the exposure, like the rain or some things. So it should not, uh, water should not come inside the ethernet port, which can uh, cause any issues on that access point. So I think that's a, uh, the that's why they have put this uh, protection on the back of here uh, so it's properly fit uh, here there is nothing wobble right now you can see it's properly fit and i'm using this connect uh, the cable which is from the ubiquity so they have a tiny uh, parts on that side so if you have any uh, other uh, patch cables so i'm not sure it will fit into this but oh hopefully it should fit there you can see here 